morning from beautiful Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. All right, so the original concept for this video was gonna be that I was gonna take you through shooting for a tourism board and how we actually get the certain photos that people wanna buy. And I was like, Lizzie, this is the concept for the video that I wanna make. And you literally were like- That's my concept. So I forgot that was her concept. It all the time. <laughs> <laughs> forgets, forgets about the concept I told him like weeks before or the day before or the minute before or whatever. So I had to pivot my concept and I thought it would be fun to tell you a little bit about this dynamic, about how we're both YouTubers, how we both run companies together and what it's like when two people have the exact same career in the exact same niche. And I guess being more transparent about some of the things that kind of come up uh, when this is the situation, because it's uh, it's definitely a unique one. We are heading out to go shoot some bison at Elk Island. If you guys want to follow how we shoot the photos there, go and check out Lizzie's video below. You ready? I'm so hot. Can I please leave? We went to this French bakery when we first got in last night, and it was friggin' fire. So we are going to get some croissants this morning. <laughs> so icy. So one of our first locations while we're here with Edmonton is a spot called Elk Island National Park. We saw some bison on the way in and we saw some elk and some deer. But anyways, the focus of this video is a lot more about the relationship that Lizzie and I have as YouTubers. I figured I'd share with you both the good and the bad of having a partner who has the exact same job as me. Why don't we start with the good before we get into the bad? Because I feel like it's so easy to jump in to be like, oh, here's the, here's the spicy drama. But one of the good things about sharing the same job is we relate to each other in the way that I feel like some relationships don't. So when you have separate jobs, I think it's hard when some people come home from work and they maybe are telling them about the stresses, they're telling their partner about the stresses of their job and that person can't relate to the nuances of that job. In this case, because Lizzie and I are in the exact same niche, sometimes often work with the exact same clients, often have the same problems, sometimes even comments, I think that relatability is something that brings us closer together. And that's a really good thing because I think that allows us to empathize with each other's problems and I'm very grateful for that. A lot of other couples at least they have like they have different niches online and so that's where a lot of our conflict comes up is because we literally do the exact same thing. Like for example, this video. Forget! We both had the exact same ideas because we think the same way, so we came up with the same concepts. It's a lot of communication, which Lizzie is better at than I am. And also a lot of listening, which again, Lizzie is better at than I am. All right, anyways, Elk Island. Lizzie's gonna go try to take some photos of some bison. <laughs> Next location, this is the distillery. I'm gonna shoot some photos of Lizzie. Oh, big fan. Get some food, yeah? All right, so shopping in Edmonton, alongside the food. Edmonton, all right, I see you. More tacos? All right. Here's this. Okay. This video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Okay, so as you guys know, we are huge fans of Storyblocks on this channel, and Storyblocks is an all-in-one platform that helps you stay more creative without sacrificing time, budget, or resources. Now, having access to over a million royalty-free digital assets, such as high-quality footage, illustration, templates, music, and sound effects with their unlimited all-access plan means that you can tell whatever story you want when you want to. 
even if that story is about your relationship. So head over to storyblocks.com forward slash Chris Howe, that's C-H-R-I-S-H-A-U, or hit the links in the description to check out all their flexible subscription plans. Storyblocks, thanks for sponsoring this video and supporting this channel. Now let's get back to um, all the drama in our relationship and monetizing that for views on YouTube. The truth, the truth hurts me. All right, so welcome to day two of our Edmonton adventures. <laughs> I guess I'm one of the things that can be kind of stressful in our relationship sometimes. Prime example, when we were shooting the bison, um, Lizzie and I only brought one lens with us, one telephoto lens with us to actually get like compression shots of the bison, try to get close to them. That means we have to share equipment sometimes and in situations like that, it's really stressful because we both want good photos and we have to constantly, well, I most importantly, need to remind myself that we're a team and that we can share our photos, but as a photographer, it's hard because you're like, I want to capture this photo myself. At the end of the day, it is just a photo. There's going to be lots of other opportunities and it ends up evening out. We both end up getting great photos and they're just different photos. This is about both of us are on the trip. We both want to get great photos. We both want to succeed and then it ends up just evening out. No person gets more opportunities than the other. We are now super hungry. We put our name down at a restaurant called Pip to go and have some lunch. Hey, that's nice. There's a doggy at the window. This is amazing. All right, so if we replay that, we will see what ADD looks like in real time. There's a doggy at the window. This is amazing. Good morning from potentially one of the coolest locations we've ever stayed in through our experiences with travel. We are staying at this dome. We're essentially glamping. It was kind of cold last night, but we woke up to the most beautiful hoarfrost. Also, what a name for something, eh? Hoarfrost. But anyways, I, I figured I'd kind of pinpoint another one of the, the good parts of our relationship that we have is that we get to share these experiences together. That's a really unique part about both of us being YouTubers and also both of us having separate YouTube channels. So I have kind of like this Chris Howe brand, Lizzie has her brand, and then we have the, the brand that is like us as a couple. A lot of like tourism boards and clients and companies are really interested in having each perspective, both my perspective, Lizzie's perspective, and then perspective as being a couple. So this was a very like strategic thing that we did in our relationship is that we both pursued a very similar goal that had a lot of overlap. So in that case, we can sell ourselves and have unique experiences like this. We were literally just sitting here after having coffee this morning, just being like, this is an amazing moment. The snow is coming down. We were listening to like some Christmas jazz music. And it was one of my favorite moments. And I got to share that with Lizzie. So that's a nice part about our relationship and something that's taken a long time to build up. There are pros and cons to it. Like we can't just be in here like 100% enjoying it because we are working at the same time. I mean, Lizzie's always been a lot better at enjoying the moment than I was in the past. I think I would usually be here and I'd be like, oh, I need to film photos and get video and throw the drone up and we need to be doing this all that. And then I look back and I only like lived the experience through video, but now we have a lot of time where we just go, let's just sit down, let's enjoy this. Um, let's not stress, because I feel like I wasn't probably the most fun person to be around. No, it was, you wouldn't even sit for two seconds and I'd be like, are you even enjoying it? Like, <laughs> like if we can enjoy it a little bit, what are we, what are we promoting? No, that's <laughs> true. We're finding a nice balance. We're striking the balance, but it's mostly about me striking the balance because Lizzie's always been good at it. Here, let me show you a little bit of this room. I'll cut to some B-roll here. It's really nice. Bye, Horfrost. Bye, Ho. You want to do what a prime example of stuff that we have to manage when we're on trips together is if there's an animal, we have to stop. So we stopped on the side of the road to take some photos, and now Lizzie found a dog. <laughs> Every single trip. <laughs> okay, Lizzie, we should go. All right, well, this is cute. 
We are currently going to this uh, event called Luminaria. We're having a fondue experience. Okay, Lizzie, while, while we're walking to our cheese fondue yes. experience, I'll mention one of the more difficult things I feel like we come in contact with in terms of our relationship. Okay. I feel like anytime we talk about creative, Lizzie and I, when we were running the agency, uh, we would always come into, um, I guess, more fights or like we butt heads bit. it would just be a lot of tension when we would come up for creative for different projects all the time well okay so here's here's the little thing i, I people like to say and lizzie even says it too i'm a bit of more of like an ideas person and i like to go like super super wild there's our working styles and as we said chris is like really out there chris can be a little bit sensitive so if i don't like love his idea right off the bat then he like kind of shuts down and gets a little sad and i come from the world of like let's just try to come up with something that like maybe goes viral let's come up with something that's like super creative let's come up with something that's different it's great it's good because conflict creates interest and we make better things but still we still butt heads we gotta find our fondue and cheese i'm just i'm lost <laughs> okay let's go and find. i just want to make it clear that you do have good ideas okay it's not that the ideas aren't good but they're just not realistic More dome! Oh, we get to eat a dome? Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm very excited. Good evening. Look at this. A three course fondue. Yeah. This is awesome. All right, last course the chocolate part. As a German, this is my favorite part of every meal. As a fat ass, this is my favorite part of every meal. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Hi. Well, okay. Bye. If you see the cat, that means uh, we're home. I thought it'd be interesting to reflect on the trip. Lizzie, are you down to reflect on the trip? Let's reflect. How did Edmonton go? How was traveling with me? The good and the bad? How do you have, do you have any? Do you, right you do have any nuggets of information you'd love to share with everybody? Overall, I think it went well. There was only one night where we got into like a bit of a fight. It was like over gear and locations and, and things like that. We worked through it. And I, I think the, the important part about this video and what I want to display is that like, when you see things on the internet, when you see these like Instagram couples and everything like looks perfect, like it's usually not the case. And what we want to showcase with you is that uh, relationships take work. You both have your own ideas. You're both own businesses and you have to look at your like working relationship, yep. your actual relationship, find divides, and then just like try to enjoy it from a life perspective too. So this is to showcase to you that like there's a lot of great with it and there's some conflict that comes out, but it always just takes work and any relationship yeah. takes work, a business relationship, think, a normal one. I think the point of this video is just to say that like, if you're watching a couple who does this, it's never perfect. And I think we all know that and you can sniff out pretty easily when it's not perfect. <laughs> yeah. And I think because like we're forthcoming about the fact that it's not perfect, hopefully showcases that we have a functional relationship. At least we like to think so. It's real. <laughs> This is, this is the reality. Like ultimately you just want to have a good time and you don't want to fight with that person. So just, you can get through it and make it a productive time. Good, happy work time. If you travel with your significant other and you guys want to work together, just try to always tell the other person what your intentions are. I will need you to help me with X, Y, Z. Be as clear as possible. Don't assume that you know what the other person is thinking. With the good comes some of the difficulties, but those difficulties um, the good outweighs it so much. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy with the life that we have. And I'm so stoked that we get to share these experiences together. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. We have a couple more trips coming up and uh, I'm excited for those. If you guys like this video, please press like. It actually makes a difference. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. And we will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, I've linked Lizzie's video down below if you wanna learn what it's like to take photos for a client like a tourism board or how to get paid to travel and the type of content you make there. Uh, her Chris channel is amazing. taking his photos too. So it's not just yeah. me. We there, there's there's, there's some, some of me talking in that video too. So, You're not just a pretty face. I'm not just your arm candy in that one. Oh, darn. Okay. Bye, everybody. Here's Luna Licking cleaning her herself. Luna.